Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest and most exciting news from the universe. Today we have an intriguing update about a potential celestial event that could light up the skies over parts of the United States, a possible geomagnetic storm that might bring the breathtaking northern lights as far south as New York. Let's dive into the details of this cosmic event and what it means for sky watchers and our technology-dependent world. On July 21st, a powerful coronal mass ejection, or CME, was released from the sun, and it's now hurtling toward Earth at an incredible speed. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center, this CME is expected to collide with Earth's magnetosphere around July 24th, prompting them to issue a geomagnetic storm watch. For those who might not be familiar, a CME is a massive burst of solar wind and magnetic fields rising above the solar corona and being released into space. When these charged particles reach Earth, they can interact with our planet's magnetic field, causing a geomagnetic storm. During such storms, ions in the CME collide with gases in Earth's atmosphere, releasing energy in the form of light, which we know as the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, in the Northern Hemisphere, and the Aurora Australis, or Southern Lights, in the Southern Hemisphere. NOAA uses a G-scale to classify the intensity of geomagnetic storms, ranging from G1, which is minor, to G5, which is extreme. The storm associated with this CME is currently classified as a G2 class, indicating a moderate storm. This means there's a chance that the northern lights could be visible over northern states and even some parts of the upper Midwest. While the idea of seeing the northern lights is exciting, it's important to remember that space weather, much like Earth weather, is unpredictable. Geomagnetic storm warnings are fairly common, and sometimes they can fizzle out without any noticeable effects. As we approach the expected arrival date, space weather forecasters will gain a clearer picture of the storm's potential impact. Now, while Aurora enthusiasts might be hoping for a direct hit from the CME to catch a glimpse of the northern lights, not everyone shares their excitement. CMEs can pose significant challenges to our technological world. The surge of energy can disrupt satellites, interfere with GPS and radio signals, and even cause power grid failures by inducing electrical currents in transmission lines. On Earth, this can lead to blackouts and communication disruptions. In space, Satellites in low Earth orbit are at risk of damage from high-energy particles. The increased drag on satellites as Earth's atmosphere expands during a geomagnetic storm can also alter their orbits, potentially leading to operational issues. Astronauts aboard the International Space Station may experience higher doses of radiation during a CME event, though they are largely protected by the spacecraft structure and Earth's magnetosphere. With all these potential effects, it's crucial to stay informed about space weather conditions. For the latest updates on space weather alerts and forecasts, be sure to check out NOAA Space Weather Prediction Center. So, what does all this mean for you? If you're in the northern states or the upper Midwest, keep an eye on the sky around July 24th. If the conditions are right, you might be treated to a spectacular display of the northern lights. Remember though, that nature is unpredictable, and there's no guarantee of a show. For those of you interested in seeing the aurora, here are a few tips to increase your chances of witnessing this stunning phenomenon. 1. Get away from city lights. Light pollution from cities can drown out the aurora. Try to find a location with dark skies, such as a rural area or a park away from city lights. 2. Check the weather. Cloudy skies can obscure the aurora, so make sure to check the weather forecast for clear conditions. 3. Be patient. The aurora can be unpredictable and may not appear immediately. Allow yourself plenty of time to wait and watch the sky. 4. Use an app. There are several apps and websites that provide real-time aurora forecasts and alerts. These can help you determine the best times to look for the northern lights. 5. Look north. The northern lights are typically visible in the northern part of the sky, 
so find a spot with a clear view to the north. While the northern lights are a breathtaking sight, the science behind them is equally fascinating. The interaction between the solar wind and Earth's magnetic field is a complex dance of charged particles and electromagnetic forces. Understanding these processes helps scientists predict space weather and mitigate its potential impacts on our technology-dependent society. As we continue to explore the mysteries of space weather, we gain valuable insights into the sun's behavior and its influence on Earth. This knowledge is crucial for protecting our technological infrastructure and ensuring the safety of astronauts and satellites in space. So whether you're an aurora chaser or simply curious about the wonders of the universe, keep your eyes on the skies and stay tuned for more updates. We'll continue to bring you the latest news and insights from the world of space and astronomy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore the potential for a geomagnetic storm and the possibility of witnessing the northern lights. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting space updates. Until next time, keep looking up, and we'll see you in the stars.